Mike Butcher with TechCrunch, and we're going to check out some of the companies in Startup Alley here at TechCrunch Disrupt Berlin. Over here, we've got Envion. Envion, Laurent, Laurent, what is this? Envion is the world's most profitable and exciting blockchain infrastructure company. We solve two really important Aren't they all? problems. Yes, but ours is the most, most important one. So what, does it, what does it do? In very simply and very quickly, what does it do? Sure. We plug our mining equipment into renewable energy plants for en cheap energy before it hits the grid. So that solves the blockchain's problem of sucking up all the fossil fuel in the world, and it solves the overcapacity problems that are inherent in the renewable energy industry all over the world. So what you're doing is you're putting all your mining equipment into a, a shipping container, sitting, making it sit next to solar or wind, and then you're mining stuff. Now, what happens when we move away from proof of work to proof of stake and we don't need mining anymore? Sure, that's really exciting. You know, one of the things that uh, we're looking at for the future is we have all of these industries putting in billions of dollars into blockchain technologies. And when those things roll out in the next two to five years, they're going to be looking for people to support all of those individual new blockchains. And we think that they're going to choose Envion because we have the most profitable way of doing that, the cheapest offers for them, and the most robust infrastructure. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Envion. We're going to move over here now. We'd like to uh, speak to Farmers Cut. Are you in Farmers Cut? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> Tell us about this. And you've got a video here. Yeah, which we you can, do. We can see. What's this all about? Well, we are an indoor vertical farm. So we have our pilot running in Hamburg. And our aim is to build a network of indoor vertical farms in, around the globe, actually. Um, so, so is it vertical farming or farming at home? Vertical farming, like large scale, um, so with this farm we produce 400 kilos a day of salad um, to deliver directly to the end consumer. For, yeah. for now we are um, at restaurants from Till Melzer, like the Ger German Jamie Oliver, um, right. the, the chef. And this is your company? Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the... And how, do, how much does it cost? Why, what do I do? Do I buy one and put it in my home or do you do... You do... So for now you go to the restaurants and you have ah. it in the restaurants, but at right. the end we're going to deliver it to sell it to your home. Oh, fantastic. So no, no pesticides and all year round. Incredible. <laughs> wow. So, there, yeah, farmer's cut. Let's check it out. Thanks so much. Right. Now, of course, TechCrunch Disrupt wouldn't be complete without uh, a robot. And here we have my new friend and yours. Uh, now, this is your, com your company, isn't it, sir? Hello. Yep. Tell, um, us about, tell us about this. I'll come over here. Let's interview the robot while Absolutely. we're chatting. His name is Alfie. Yeah. And... Uh, He's presenting Elfix, that is our uh, OS. With this OS, we can make any uh, robot, so that is like a Lego in the world of uh, software for robots. So, actually... Does it, does it sort of move around a bit like this? Oh, no, this is just portable robot. Portable robot. Here is platform, which uh, enables him to move, but actually now he is turned off, so he is uh, staying. Turned off. Sorry about that, mate. Pro it does say prototype on the bottom. Um, so great. Where are I gonna, am I going to be using this at uh, a conference, at a trade show, we or an can, event? We can uh, use it in shops. For example, you see, here is our website, and you can use it in shops. We have special tool to make a shop. Yeah. And robot will uh, we'll cooperate in shop. And wander yeah. around and talk to talk to the customers. Yeah. Marvis, thank you very much. Let's have another. There's another one. Over there. Gestalt Robotics. Here we go. Uh, now, who's this? Is th who's this? Is this yours? Yeah, that's our robot. And from what does, he do? what, does uh, he, what does he do? We are providing intelligent services for service robots um, to make them understand their environments. For example, object recognition, um, navigation, um, also, and we are working with different of these um, hardware platforms in uh, service robotics. Uh, okay, great, fantastic. So, it's for enterprise or consumers? Um, excuse me. Is it for for the business or for consumers? Um, it's mainly for for business um, customers, for retail, for example, for security applications, for uh, interactions on on fairs and um, exhibitions. Um, uh, this is mostly where these robots are used. Well, thank you very much. Great. Well, this is, looks like a fairly friendly little chap, doesn't it? So, uh, although it is a bit a bit low, a bit bad for the back. Okay. Now um, over here we've got Discover VR. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I just come over here? Now, when I'm at home and using my VR headset, it's wonderful to be able to. 
jump on the old treadmill and just pretend that I'm actually in Star Trek. So this is going to allow me to do that. So tell us all about this. What's your name, Monica? Yes. Hi. So this is actually the best uh, product which we're working on and uh, the best treadmill which will be cooperating with all VR experiences and also compatible with uh, joystick and Xbox and here you can see how so it's going. You stand to here, you stand here, yes. jump on, and then what? You put some very slippery socks on. Yes, for sure. And then you move because this is compatible with all your body and all your senses. So wow. this is. And how much does it cost? Is it something I will have in the home or something that uh, you have for a business? Four to five thousand euro. This is going to be the price. Between for four and five thousand euro. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And what's going to happen? Is it going to be inside a shop or what? Yeah, you can uh, mainly we, what we do are VR arcades, but it's going to be another generation of the treadmill is going to be uh, for the home usage, and um, um, basically the first first version is going to go to, uh, to the to the stores like ours, like our two in Poland, uh, and uh, following are going to be lighter, smaller, better. Fantastic! Thanks very much. Because uh, everybody needs one of those in their home, don't they? Now, um, lastly, what's this déjà vu? Déjà vu. What's déjà vu? Yeah, um, you can print your pictures in a very, very easy way. Um, yes. And in the future, we would like to um, actually innovate the whole uh, picture printing process. But I can already pic- print out pictures from my phone and, and lots of apps like this. Why are you different? <laughs> Because of the quality, first of all. So we have one of the best qualities. We're printing on Canon, um, which is uh, yeah, very extremely uh, good quality. I can show you some samples. Oh, so super, super high quality printing from from your uh, phone. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's an incredible uh, photograph. I don't know the English term, but matte. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Matte. And then just one second. Very, very, very high quality. Yes, exactly. And the whole process on. Um, of how you can create these picture books or um, yeah. in general the so really printouts really oh, is wow. very easy. Yes, wow, exactly. wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, capturing the memories of the mind and uh, that's that gorgeous. So Mike Butcher from Startup Alley, TechMunch Disrupt Berlin. See you later.